he looked like he was actually enjoying himself, which is a little bit disconcerting. Enjoying this deranged killing game. Damn you! What the fuck do you mean, game? That's fucked up! Mondo, calling shit out! But it is a game! It's a game of life or death! You can only have one winner. That's all there is to it. <sighs> he is right. It is a zero-sum game. Huh? Are you okay with this? This is part of game theory, a mathematical model. In game theory, what we are going through now is called a zero-sum game. In this type of game, in order for one person to gain something, another must necessarily lose something. In other words, it is a situation in which participants must compete for position or resources. I see. You mean like a kind of elimination match? Actually... Entrance exams, sports tournaments, jobs openings, most social interactions fall into this category. Everyone must scramble to obtain something which is limited. For you to succeed, someone else must fail. This also applies to the school life we've been subjected to here. In this case, okay? our limited resource is that only one of us can successfully become the Blackened. So in other words... So this game was designed from the beginning to force one of us to try and defeat all the others. Uh, th th that can't be what, what, they, what they had in mind. Come on, Monokuma, bag me up here, bag me up here. <laughs> th this is why adaptation is so crucial. If those who want to escape were to disappear, there'd be no reason to continue playing the game. What? But why would I want to stop playing? It's uh, so much fun. He smiled again as he spoke. The smile was filled with evil intent. It twisted his face into something not human. <sighs> It sounds as if you do not acknowledge even the possibility that you may lose. Am I right? Naturally. Of course. <laughs> you do not speak like the others. Exactly what I would expect from the Togami hair apparent. Ugh. It's just normal arrogance, isn't it? Just a second! You talk like that. What if you end up dead? Not possible. I won't. It simply isn't possible. You son of a bitch! Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> you know, I still just can't believe it. What? Believe what? <laughs> that an uneducated, brain-dead, useless piece of garbage like you has survived, survived this long. Piece of shit! I'm gonna fucking kill you! Don't make me repeat this. Like myself. I said, I won't die. <sighs> you keep saying that, but... <sighs> Do not bother arguing with him. For him, the concept of losing simply does not exist. He is the ultimate affluent progeny, after all. A boy raised to succeed from the day he was born. He considers victory his destiny, and has lived his life accordingly. Tests and challenges are merely ways for him to stand victorious, even if it is a life-and-death situation. <laughs> is that not so, Bayakura? <laughs> At least one of you seems to understand. Isn't it wonderful? It is because I am the same as you. Games are meant to be won. That's enough. Are you trying to suggest we're on the same level? Close that vulgar mouth of yours. Oh. Well, well, I do apologize. <laughs> anyway, just let me say this to all of you. You all need to try harder. If an opponent isn't going to give it their best, where's the fun for me? Uh, no. That's, that's a terrible way to look at it. What? Hmm. It's because this this isn't a game. Our lives are on the line, you know. To kill your own friends is is well. There's a thing. I don't think he's friends with any of us. That's horrific. It's horrific. <laughs> friends? Who decided that? Huh? Huh? <laughs> We're not friends. No, quite the opposite. We're in competition. We're, we're enemies. But, but, y you know. What? But what? Stop trying to force your contradictions on me and just accept what I'm telling you. Um. Come on. Yes. If you have something to say, say it. Otherwise, keep your mouth closed. Ah. Oh. Jeez. Uh, I'm sorry. Stop fucking around. Hey, shithead! 
You get off on bullying people that can't fight back? You wanna try that on me? <laughs> so, you're back to pretending to be friends, huh? And how long do you think that's going to last? Piece of shit! Fuck you! What? Is that all you can say? <laughs> it's unfortunate you would waste your breath on such empty gibberish. You son of a bitch! That's it, you're, you're fucking dead! Just a second! Hold on, just, just calm down. Piece of shit! I am calm! Hmm. <sighs> His pupils are going all squiggly. How is this calm? Hmm. Anyway, I don't have any intention of working with the rest of you any longer. To cooperate during an elimination game is... Well, frankly, it's a waste of time, and I hate wasting my time. Waste of time? Not possible. Engaging in friendly group meals is out of the question. Someone could easily poison our food. And I'd rather not become part of the Last Supper just yet. Ho <laughs> ho. shit. We're talking like you're in a fucking movie or something. <laughs> That's a pretty good description. Goodbye. All I'm saying is that ultimately you are all free to do whatever you want on your own. Goodbye. If I had a second glance back, Bayakua left. There wasn't anything we could do to keep him from going. His way of thinking was just beyond anything the rest of us could even comprehend. But... Was he serious about all that? <laughs> he was, without a doubt. Don't fuck with me! Well, fuck him then! Maybe... The way he said, he, he might not necessarily be wrong. I mean, can, can, can you, you say for sure someone won't poison our food? <laughs> hey, come on. You too, Toko? Anyway... Well, it's not like anyone would care if, even, if, even if I was gone, right? <laughs> Actually, but you all will want me gone. You all think I'm, I'm disgusting. None of us think that. Uh, I'm telling you... You, you... you just think you don't think that. <sighs> I know some people like to play the victim, but this is just totally out there. <laughs> you think I don't know, but I do. You want me gone. I'm sure the rest of you are the same thing, don't you? Ah, hey, to Toko, wait, Toko, no. <laughs> Just let her go. Once it gets going like that, there is nothing you can say to bring her back. Huh. Hmm. Well then. Ultimately, our breakfast meeting came to an end without answering any questions. Everyone headed back to their rooms. Oh, was it free time? Geez, I'm tired already. But I don't have time to take even one day off. I need to get myself going. Free time. Hell yeah. So, uh, where is everybody? Who do you want to hang out with? I kind of want to be with Baikua now. Just see what he's like at this point. Celeste is by herself. Is anybody else on this floor? No. Uh, so those two are in the hallway. He's in there. I guess he's in the pool. Doi. Oh, yeah, this is the dorm. Nobody's on the first floor. They are all in the hallway. He's in the library. She is in that classroom. Huh. I really want to hang out with Bayakua and see what he says. I think that would be pretty great. <laughs> I just can't get enough of this guy. He's just so amazing. It's my role model. I want to be like him when I grow up. Hey, Baikua. He seems to be really focused on that book. Now it's not really a good time to talk to him. Oh, we can't hang out with Baikua? Well, that's just a dirty ass shame, isn't it? Well, there's this guy. I don't want to hang out with him. Uh, Fumi. Oh yeah, I still have all those coins. I need to try and cash in for gifts. Yeah, that'll be good. Full speed! Da 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 da! To the store. Time to play this weird ass game again. Would you like to try your hand? Yeah, why not? All right, let's give it a shot. 78 coins. So I think I've sort of gotten 
the gist of this now. Wait, just one coin. I got an item. Okay, good. I got like a whip or some shit. So, right now it looks like, uh... Yeah, really, uh, the only incentive you would have to put more coins than one into the machine is if you don't want repeats. And so far, I haven't gotten very many. So what I could do is just sort of keep going and going and going. That could be fun. So yeah, I'm just gonna do this for like 10 hours. Oh, it's a face. Great. I'm just gonna keep doing this. Why not? Oh my god. I got so much bullshit. Holy shit. Okay, so let's go down the line. Because I got a lot. We got Coca-Cola. We got sea salt, potato chips, prismatic hardtack, I don't even know what the fuck that is, uh, black croissant, a baked good made from black ingredients It looks burnt, but it's actually pretty good, that has Celeste written all over it, sonic cup of noodle, a ration, that has tacker written all over it, overflowing lunchbox, that's pretty nice, everlasting bracelet. Ooh, I don't know if I uh, really attach anybody that closely. Hope's Peak Ring. I don't know. Give that to uh, old Monokuma. Scarab Brooch. Once again, Celeste. God of War Charm. A charm devised by the protective deity of martial arts, the great and gracious Kashima. Glasses. They say that wearing these while performing incantations will help you better speak with the target of your spell. Who does spells here? Does, uh, clairvoyant guy do spells? Is that what he does? Who knows? Uh, a scarf belonging to a certain masked hero. Ooh. And shears. Great. Tumbleweed. Unending dandelion. Oh, well, that's nice. Just blow it off and then it will, like, restock itself. Rose in vitro. A small rose stored inside a test tube. It's good for both hellos and farewells. In, uh, the language of flowers, the red rose means passionate love. <laughs> hey! And I got three of those. I got so much passionate love. Cherry blossom blo bouquet. A whip made from real roses. That's just weird. Zen Sekuken. A sword that can't even cut through iron or flesh or anything really. In other words, totally useless. Muramasa. The strongest weapon ever made. Oh, it doesn't actually exist in this reality, so how do I have it? Golden gun, which we've already uh, talked about. Self-destructing cassette. That could be useful. Pretty Hungry Caterpillar. Mr. Fastball! Ah, oh, I could give that to Leon if he wasn't dead. <laughs> Antique Doll, give that to Mondo. Prince Shotoku's Globe. Uh, okay. Asura's Tears? A jewel treasured by an ancient super race. Fantastic. Millennium Prize Problems word for, ah, oh, these are like the big important ones. Word of one million dollars for each one solved. Maybe Kyoka would know that. Uh, Project Zombie. Uh, huh. Yeah, sounds very good. A thick book that has hints and codes for every game ever released and must have for any true gaming fanatic. That to, uh, Mifumi? Maiden's Handbag. Uh, Flip the switch on the bottom to set the doll shaking. Apparently it's a kid's toy, but I don't really get the point of it. I think I have an inkling or two. Eww. Give that to some special lady. The second button. Great. Pumas. Gotta have some pumas. Oblot. Thin edible film from starch. Water flute. Pour water into the base and blow, so it's like a bong. It's a fucking bong. Bajobo doll. 
ancient tour tickets. Uh-huh. Novelist fountain pen. Gee, I wonder who I should give that one to. It once belonged to a late great novelist. If facts used to distribute a full-length novel based on what the world would look like if all of someone's dreams came true. Cat Dog Magazine. Meteorite Arrowhead. A man's fantasy. Schoolcrest. Despair Bat. The name doesn't really sound pleasant. It creates a foreboding sense. Something very bad has begun. Ooh. And, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Well then, I think we got a lot of good, good stuff out of that. So, I think we need to figure out who we want to hang with. Who we want to get on the good side of. We already tried uh, Baikua, but we can't really be with him. I know Kyoko is a person I want to be sure I have on my good side. Who else? Maybe Sakura? Yeah, I want Sakura to be like my henchwoman. Because nobody could fuck with her. You know that. Uh... So yeah, that's where they are. Go! Let's go. Keep on going. This is Kira! I don't like this atmosphere. Hmm, should I uh, talk to Sakura for a while? Yeah, sure, let's spend some I time see. with Sakura. Are you saying you're ready for another lesson? Very well. Prepare yourself and come with me. Uh huh. Sakura put me through a top warning training session. That could be useful. I can feel myself getting stronger. Some text from Persona 3 level up screen. Sakura and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Sakura a present? Yes, definitely. What would you like to give her? Uh, there was a thing that was like. Got a war charm? Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, that's the thing about the martial arts god. Uh, I've been looking everywhere for this. How did you know? Huh. You're quite a mysterious man, Koto. Seeing Sakura so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Hmm. My post-training break is the most relaxing time of my day. The sensation of your muscles cooling down after heating up during a workout is the only true reward. No matter how many times I experience it, I never get tired of it. Do you exercise every morning, Sakura? Mm. Unless there are errands that I absolutely can't get out of, yes. I always do my training. If I don't, I feel restless for the rest of the day. But I'm amazed you can do it every single day. Doesn't it get tough? Huh. I can't say I've ever seen it as tough. It's all so that I can get stronger after all. And I have to keep on getting stronger. Because my destiny is to fight. And who gave you this destiny, if I may ask? Y your destiny is to fight. Mm. From the day I was born, I've been fighting. Heaven sent me to live as its champion. Heaven? You mean like the sky god heaven? Uh-huh, that's uh, one heck of a legend. Mm. My father was my master and my every waking moment was spent with him learning to fight. As a child, I spared of boxing champions and hit the mat with wrestling gold medalists. I was no match for them when I first began, of course. Before long, they were no match for me. Y you mean you actually started beating people like that? Mm. I'd say my specialty is solid stand-up that transitions into grappling and a strong ground game. Essentially, it's a complete approach. Anything else just wouldn't make sense. You can only become the best by reaching the top of each discipline, then fusing them all together. Stand-up fighting, grappling, and a strong ground game. That could only be... Yeah, I don't... Mixed martial arts? Cross my heart and hope to die? You're basically a mixed martial arts fighter, right? Of course. That's right. Hey! I was hoping that the whole mixed thing was a hint, and luckily it was. That's right. It's the most effective real-world fighting style, which is why I chose it. I don't want to just be the best in competition. I want to be the strongest human on Earth. I wouldn't bet against you, that's for sure. But aren't you already the best? Well, 
Well, no, not yet. There's still someone I have to surpass. Really? Huh. Until I can beat him, I'll never become the strongest. You mean there's someone out there stronger than you? Maybe I'll tell you about it another time. The opportunity presents itself. You mean your dad? Is that it? Your master? Your trainer? Sakura didn't make a sound as she left. I honestly can't believe there's someone out there stronger than Sakura. Even if they're real, can they really be human? Hey! Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. Look at me go. I headed back to my room for a little while. Da -ba -da -ba -da. 